Hello! I would like to welcome you to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where we are talking about sales, and today we are going to talk about the power of recommending. What I am about to say is going to sound completely counterintuitive. This is a piece of the Sales 101 section of our dispensing series, and it says, don't sell. And it does say, don't sell. Instead, learn to recommend. It's a much more powerful tool. It is about language. We will sit down with Kansi the customer and role play this so you hear it. This is about wearing what you sell. If you are a Brillin Eyes or a Moto store, that's primarily what you sell, what you like, and you sold 15 Ella and Max last month, well, that rep should either comp you a frame or give you one heck of a good deal on one so that you're wearing it and you can say why I'm wearing an Ella and Max. It's also about wearing the lenses that you sell. You should be getting either a free voucher or a half off voucher from the lab for a progressive lens, for a new high index, for a free form single vision so that you're wearing a, that lens that you're selling. This is about enjoying your work especially after that first year when you kind of sort of know what you're doing, your confidence and your competence levels are up. This is about experience. This is about the two-way street of education, you having enough education to talk and understand the products that you sell and being able to educate your customers. This is about knowing what it is that you sell and we've talked about that in other videos. It is about confidence. When you have a lot of confidence in the products you sell, the frames and the lenses, you start using language like, we like, we recommend, I love, I really like, I wear, I'd suggest, I think. And we'll role play this in just a second. When you have low confidence, what comes out of your mouth sounds like blame. Once again, listen to what you say. Listen to what your coworkers say. Have your coworkers listen to you and give you some feedback. Sounds like blame. Uh, they recommend. All right, you're an optician. There is no they, there is no them. The lab says, the company says, the doctor says, for that, they say you must have whatever. And this is a piece of this. It's kind of a, a two-edged sword when you have maybe a little bit too much confidence when you dictate and say, I'm going to put you in so-and-so. Okay. And a piece of that glass is kind of in between these two, but never a good thing either. And we'll role play it in just a second. By all means, get other people involved. You're on the sales floor. You've got a customer. There are two or three other opticians working with other people. By all means, if you're selling the new IoT DRP2 and your coworker is wearing it and raving about it, well, yell across the sales floor and say, hey, Deb, you've got that new DRP2. What do you think? Right? And they'll say, I love it or I like it reinforce it. They're wearing it. They love it. You'll get that sale. Let's sit down with Kansi, the customer at the dispensing table and listen to what recommending sounds like. Indeed, Kansi, the customer has arrived. How are you? I'm doing good. How about you? Good. I'm doing okay. It's been a long time. It has. I had, I had COVID and then we were on vacation and yeah. then we had the landscapers across the street show up and interrupt us. It's been kind of a tough haul, <laughs> but here we are. We are talking about the language that you want to use to instill confidence in your customer 
because you personally have experience and like the products that you use, sell, and wear. And it really is all about that, right? It's setting the tone, planting the seed. If I project to Kansi that she is going to be happy with the product that I am selling her, you've kind of already set something in motion, right? I get an email at least once a week from a consumer, a couple paragraphs long, explaining their experience at an optical shop. And all it really boils down to for me is assuring them that, well, you know, no, that sounds about right. That is what you should expect. You should be happy with those. That's all they want to hear, right? So if I know my products and I'm saying the right things to Kansi, we're setting the stage for success before the sales even made. We talked about the language that you do not want to hear and the easiest way to pick up on that is if you hear blame. If I say something like, um, well, you got this, um, the lab says I have to use polycarbonate for any rimless, doesn't exactly show a lot of confidence in anything, right? I'm blaming. Uh, the doctor says that I have to sell you the anti-reflective coating. The company says that I, I have to use the Whisper Light Plus material. Okay, nobody's telling anything. You are the optician. You make these decisions with your customer, right? They recommend polarized for all sunglasses. Okay. I'm not sure who they is, but they're, they're out there, okay? And for a progressive, you have got to get the digital one. Right. There's no real confidence there, folks, right? Stop blaming someone else. If you hear the blame, you don't know enough about your products to sell them correctly. The other scenario I touched on at the board is the <clears throat> slightly overzealous position probably wearing your white lab coat and your pocket protector and have a bunch of papers on the wall, and you're going to tell the customer what they're going to get. I'm putting you in the Xeon 4 Progressive. <laughs> hey, you're not, you're not doing it. She's, she's the one spending the money, folks, all right? She's gonna decide what she's gonna get in the end. Uh, for prescription powers like yours, you must use a 1.74 material. In my expert opinion, you must get the polarized lens. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, just it doesn't cut it and you do hear that stuff out there. So be careful. So that's how we don't want things to sound. Let's go through a couple of ways that we do want things to come across. We really like the lenses from Laramie K. It's an optical lab in the Midwest, kind of a mid-sized place. We've been using them for years and have great success with oh, their lenses. Great. Okay. Right. How nice that is. Yeah. We always recommend, it's a company called IOT, the brand name is Neochrome. When we're talking about the photochromics, the lenses that change when you go indoors and outdoors. Right. I, I think like half the staff here is wearing them and they all really like it. Oh, great, okay. okay. Confidence, right? Absolutely. I love my own Rudy Project Rhydon 2. It's their most popular frame. Mm -hmm. Put a photochromic lens in there. It's a very versatile pair of glasses. I wear them. The doc actually wears them also when he's riding. Excellent choice. Yeah. I really like the ICE. It's actually a clear non-glare coating. Holds up really well. Cleans very easy. Helps you see better at night when you're driving. I wear it. I like it. Um, you know, there, there are some subtle differences between them. The IC is really nice. Good. Okay. Sounds good. One of my favorites is, you know, obviously I could wear absolutely anything I want. I wear the Rebel Advance. That's a lens from Laramie K okay. uh, in a 160 material. It's a little bit thinner with the ICE coating and it just works great for me. Okay. I'll go with your experience. <laughs> All right. I would suggest, okay, um, I would just suggest the Laramie K, the recruit level lens. That's kind of a balanced lens uh, with the ICE coating, probably for you in a 160 material. Okay. All right. You can hear the difference in that, I hope, right? The other piece that we talked about is taking the risk, the calculated and carefully balanced risk of involving others. If I'm sitting here with Kansi and she's genuinely having a good time, she's getting this new beautiful Ella and Max frame, she's happy, she's smiling, 
Okay? Having a good time, we're all at ease. There are other people in the store. They're also shopping. You may have two, three, four other people and opticians. You may have receptionists on board. If you need that tiebreaker or another opinion, and you know the answer you're going to get to the question you're about to ask, we'll go ahead and ask it. And what do I mean by that? Assad's over there working with another customer. I'm gonna say, hang on one second, Assad. Assad looks back, I said, you just got that new freeform single vision, what do you think? Right? And Assad will turn around and excuse himself from his customer for two seconds and say, you know, I absolutely love it. I didn't think there would really be a difference between a single vision regular and a single vision freeform, but I'll be darned, it is actually a better lens. Okay? He says that, bounces off of me, she hears it, so do the other people in the store. It's kind of a win-win for everybody. Again, when I know what Assad is going to say, so be careful there, all right? I may say, Carla, Carla, you have this frame in the other color, don't you, this one? And she'll say, I do, I really like it. It's, you know, I think I've had it for eight months, it's holding up really well, it looks great, et cetera, et cetera. It holds a progressive well, whatever it might be, right? Reinforcing building confidence, that is what this is all about. I may say, Bambi, you just switched from the basic level progressive and you were struggling a little bit. You went to the advanced level, which is two steps up from that, worth the money. Okay. Bambi will say, kind of like Assad, you know, I didn't think it would make a difference, but I'll be darned, it really does. I'm wearing them right now. I'm really happy. Okay. She hears it. The other customers in the store hear it. Hear it. Mm -hmm. She has that confidence before she ever walks out the door. Okay. So that, folks, is what this was about. Some of the language, once again, we cannot give you something to say for every possible scenario, but for goodness sakes, take responsibility, learn the products that you sell, build up the confidence in them so that you can say the right thing. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching us on Facebook, please give us a like. Watching us on YouTube, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there in the corner. And to make sure that every lens that you sell through your recommending sales techniques comes from Laramie K. I'll see you again next week.